well, first of all, we're on the top of a roof in Melbourne City, which is which is pretty cool, my hometown. We're messing around, having some fun with some spraying, some uh, stuff on the wall, looking at our murals. Uh, they've done a really good job, I think. Look at that, that guy's pretty good looking up there. Uh, you know, playing a bit of tennis and just having a good, a good time. And it's uh, obviously for the players, it's a pressure situation before the Australian Open, but we're all just having a great, nice and relaxing afternoon. I look forward to the Australian Open, obviously because it's uh, hometown, it's Australian Australian Open, so it's uh, it's my it's my Grand Slam. Uh, I've always played well here, and I've grown up since you know since I was a little boy going to the Australian Open, watching the, the stars play, and and uh, so it's always very exciting. I think the LS players have got a great chance this year to do well. They're uh, they're all great players. Uh, we've got a couple of up and coming young young girls. Um, you know, Monica and Alina are, are uh, you know really doing well this year. Feliciano is having a revival him, and he's uh, to be 14 in the world. It's fantastic, and with his game, he can. You know, possibly knock off a few great champions. So, very exciting for the Australians to, to see these young LS players. Being in LS clothes certainly makes me feel more stylish. I'm very privileged to be involved in, in LS. I've worn their clothes throughout my career with pride, and uh, you know, have some of the best clothes on my back is uh, pretty special. I don't know if there is any particular fashion style in Australia. We're really alternative, retro, all sorts of stuff. You get different different styles. And anything really goes in Australia.